everybody. My name is Celeste Sanchez, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Florida Virtual School. And I'm really excited that you're here. And I, honestly, I think I have the best job in the world because I just love Florida Virtual School. Have you guys, anybody here heard about it? Yeah? Well, I hadn't heard about it. So what I'd like to do is, before I tell you how I first heard about it, I'd like you guys to watch a short video that will tell you what our students feel about Florida Virtual School. When I grow up, I want to be a dancer, but if the dancing career doesn't work out, then I want to be a veterinarian. I want to be a speech therapist. A NASCAR racer. A doctor. I would like to become like an architect. A cross player, marine biologist. I would like to be a social worker. When I grow up, I would like to be a pediatric hematologist oncologist specializing in blood and marrow transplantation. I think our traditional classrooms look the same as they looked 100 years ago. And I think virtual education has changed dramatically in 10 years. When I think of Florida Virtual School, I think of flexibility and independence. Education and learning, computers and internet, and home. I think of a place where students can learn, where they can grow at their own pace. The Me Learning community, I think, really focuses on the fact that each child is an individual. They're a me. Different needs, different interests, different learning styles, different likes, different homes. I have quite a few students who, without virtual school, would really have no means of getting an education. I decided to take classes with FLVS to improve my grades and my GPA. We also have a different clientele, which are students that are actively involved with other things in their lives. Dancing is my biggest reason, so I can take the course in the nighttime if I need to, or early in the morning, or even in the afternoon. Um, I decided to take class for FLVS because I wanted to get into an IB course and my counselor told me about FLVS so I decided to take that so I could get my algebra one done. One of the most unique things about Florida Virtual School is the fact that we're part of the public education system and that we are free to all students in the state of Florida, public, private, or homeschooled students. I think I have to use computer so much because that's what the world's becoming. Mostly everything is on a computer now. I think FLVS prepares students for the real world in, in a couple ways. One, you know, we're a technology-based classroom, and right there, the student is logging in every day, working online. They're getting that, you know, computer skills that they're going to need it, whether it's for high school, whether it's for college, or whether it's for the real world. I've taken chemistry, critical thinking, business I took geometry, I took algebra, world history, history, driver's ed, um, biology, biology, English, world history, geometry, world history, web design, one, English two. Now our motto is any time, any place, any path, any pace. Learning that a student actually can work from their, their living room, from their bedroom on a Saturday, on a Sunday at midnight or at 6 a.m., I think that that's a surprise. I like being able to work at my own pace because there's some things that I've already known and I can easily breeze through that um, and then go work on the more challenging things when at an actual school you have to be patient, wait. Everybody learns differently and me personally, I'm a visual learner. Illuminate is basically a whiteboard online. So while the Illuminate session is going on, I'm usually on the phone with my teacher. It's much more one-on-one -on -one as opposed to one to 20. There was a list of ways that I could, I could contact her. We usually talk and, you know, oh, you're doing really well, and I really like this part of this assignment or whatever. I love being able to communicate with my teachers like that. We have a conference call with her once a month, and Ryan and I both speak with her. We can talk about anything, any questions we have about the program, and it's a great one-on-one -on -one with Ryan and myself. The key to Florida Virtual School's consistent success and continuous improvement is the culture. It's the fact that we place a very, very high value on the people and the professional learning opportunities that they have. If I didn't have Florida Virtual School, I probably would have been a dropout. I would probably be very behind in school. <laughs> if Ryan couldn't take Algebra 1 through Florida Virtual School, then he probably wouldn't be able to get into the IB program we really wouldn't know where we would, he'd be able to go. And as we see more people going toward online education, I think Florida Virtual will play a major role in that. FLVS has changed my life in a lot of different ways because I've been able to pursue 
what I love most, dance. <laughs> and I'm able to just, you know, get my work done and then go off and do what I love. Without Florida Virtual School, I probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to even apply to Nova Southeastern University. I wouldn't have even thought of it as an option. I have Nova as an option. Uh, do it. <laughs> I mean, don't give it a second thought. When, you know, once you're in FLVS, it's amazing. Well, six years ago, I was a classroom teacher, and my daughter went to the same school that I was at. And what happened was that one day she came to me and she said in 10th grade, Mom, I think I'm really over the high school drama. I think I'm ready to go to college. How can I do that? And I had never heard of Florida Virtual School before, but it was in that investigation of how to help her graduate high school early, which was her dream, that's how I found out about Florida Virtual School. And I can't tell you what a difference it's made in all of our lives. Of course, we're her parents, but it was the best decision that we ever made. And the thing about it is that if you think about your kids, and you guys will identify with this, you can see your kids texting with their cell phone on one hand, watching TV on the other one, they're Skyping with their friend with a computer. All of this is happening simultaneously. So this is, this is how they're interacting. We can't expect these kids to sit in a classroom being lectured uh, by a teacher forever. They're ready to move on. They're ready to do a lot of things. They're ready to embrace technology. And I think that Florida Virtual School understands that. We understand how kids are learning these days, and we're thinking out of the box to make sure that we're addressing how they are learning. So the best part about Florida Virtual is that you guys get to do it your own way, your own pace. And that means that if you're in the public school system and you want to remain in the public school system, you could take a class with us. Maybe it's a summer class. You want to enhance your GPA. Or maybe you want to take an AP class and, and really, really uh, focus on it over the summer and then finish it up during the fall. You can work at your own pace. Let's say, for example, you guys took uh, an algebra class and you didn't do so well in algebra. Right now, instead of having to wait till the end of the year, you could be taking that semester of algebra that you didn't do so well the semester before and still be in the second half of algebra to be able to uh, pass the class and therefore be able to be, be promoted to another grade. Uh, you could do it for many things. We have a lot of students that are athletes. Uh, they, have, uh, they, they have a lot of hours that they dedicate to their athletics or drama kids or music kids or dancers or anybody. And the beautiful part about this is, is that you don't have to give up your extracurricular activities because you can tailor this school to meet your needs. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when you want to do geography, is up to you. When you want to do algebra, is up to you, as long as you do it, which is really great. So I have so much to tell you about Florida Virtual. I'm going to use my little cheat sheet here just so that I can make sure and cover everything with you. But um, imagine that you want to graduate early. You can. So let's say that you uh, are wanting to take a history class, and you know that you can do it faster. You don't have to sit in a history class and be bound by a school calendar. You can take it as quickly as you want to and get through with that class. However, let's say that you uh, do want the structure of a regular school uh, schedule. Then, for example, we have partnering districts like Pasco and Hillsborough County that also have virtual programs through us. And then what you would do is you would follow their program but still have the public school schedule, um, which is something that uh, our parents uh, want sometimes. Um, let's see. Uh, one of the best parts about us is we're absolutely free as long as you're a resident of the state of Florida. And if you wanted to take a class, let's say, starting today, you could. You could go on our website, you could register, and you could start taking the class, which is really neat. So we don't have that traditional uh, school year uh, to be bound by. Our teachers are phenomenal. They are available 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. So let's say that you were working on a history project with somebody in Pensacola and somebody down in Key West. It's a group project. And all of a sudden, you have a question about that project. You don't have to wait till Monday to contact your teacher. You can call her Saturday afternoon, and she'll be, she'll be right there ready to answer your question, which is really great. I don't know about you guys, but math was never really my thing. So I would sit in the classroom filled with math students, and I was never the one to raise my hand. Does that ring a bell to anybody? <laughs> anyway. Now imagine that you are on a virtual school math class, and you, you explain to your teacher, I really didn't understand that concept. Well, you and that teacher can sign up to a virtual office space, and right there, live, you and the teacher are resolving that one math problem together. 
You don't have to be in front of 20 people. You can, you can talk it over right there, and you can actually work the problem together. I mean, how great is that? It's really wonderful. Um, you could take an honors class. You could take a regular class. And the best part about it is that you can switch midstream. So let's say, for example, you're thinking about taking, um, uh, let's say, world history honors. But you're not, you're not sure that if you can handle it. You can start it out. And if you end up not wanting to do the honors, you could just drop down to the regular. And the otherwise is true as well. Let's say that you start out in regular, but you love the subject matter so much with your virtual school teacher that you want to start taking it at the honors level. All you have to do is let him or her know. And then you do the honors assignments, and then you can get that credit also. One of the very best parts about Florida Virtual, I know I keep saying there's a lot of best parts, but one of the really best parts is that you guys can redo assignments. So let's say, for example, you were working on that world history project. It was a four-part project. You did really, really well on parts one, two, and three. But part four, eh, you know, your teacher said that you should have included X, Y, and Z. Well, now you have that project back again. And guess what? You can actually redo. Number four, with the enhancements that your teacher asked you to do, you can resubmit it. And instead of getting, getting a 70 on that project, now you can get that 100 that you wanted. And you can do that more than one time. So there's never any fear of handing in an assignment because you can always improve on it. And that way, we're really getting our kids to learn a lot, which is great. So what happens if you're thinking about taking a virtual school class, but you're kind of hesitant? No worries. Because with us, you can start taking a class, and we have something called a 28-day grace period. In those first 28 days, which is about four weeks, you guys get to kind of sort of test drive the class and see if it's for you. And if for any reason during that time you find out that it's not really your thing, all you have to do is call your teacher and say, you know what, Ms. Jones, I'm really thankful for the time that you spent with us and with me, but it's not for me. And we will withdraw you out of that class. So there's never a time that you're stuck in a class as long as you tell us during the first 28 days, which is really good. Um, let's see. Another really important thing is, of course, we're virtual, which means we have state-of-the-art technology. We want you to use those 21st century skills. We know that whatever job that you're going to be doing after you finish college, you get out there in that workforce, is going is to have computers involved in there. So we have you uh, blend in those skills to be able to be successful in the workforce. And uh, as most of you know, most of the gen ed classes now at university campuses, especially in the state of Florida, are online. So by having that online experience as a high schooler, now you can really succeed taking those online courses when you go to college or you join the military or whatever it is that you're going to do because everything's by computers. So I think I've shared a few things as to why I think Florida Virtual is fantastic. Um, now both of my daughters used it. Both of them graduated a year early from high school. And last December, my daughter graduated from college as a 20-year-old, all because of what Florida Virtual did for her. So I just wanted to share that experience, not only as a teacher for Florida Virtual, but also as a parent. OK, you guys have any questions? OK, good question. The question was, is if your child is attending regular school, how will we know about uh, taking possibly um, an identical class online? And the way that that would work is, is that when you guys register to take a class at Florida Virtual School, you do the registration first, you and your child. And then that guidance counselor at the brick and mortar school must approve the class and make sure that it's academically appropriate for your child. So once that guidance counselor approves, that guidance counselor will know, yes, that, that child's going to take that class online. Or no, that, that child has already taken this class here. That, that child can't take it online. So it would, that, that's how we have that safety mechanism in place. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you.